Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at the new Sparklines feature and how we can integrate this within tables and matrix visuals and really how we can draw insights from our product sales information. So this is a fantastic new feature released in the December 2021 update of Power BI. It's a great way to show trends easily within a table or matrix using something like an X and Y axis that could be something like sales over a date period. So what is the sparkling feature and when should you use it? Well, they're small charts and we can format these to line or columns and they can be added to tables or matrix visualizations. As we said, they're useful for showcasing trends by dates, comparing seasonal insights, or maximum and minimum values by date, essentially giving people that ability to make data-driven decisions in an instant. Now, there's a few things that you should note. You'll need the December 2021 Power BI update. If you don't have this, you can get it from the Microsoft Store. And this should enable the preview sparkling feature already. Your sparkling will be automatically added to your table and matrix. There's great options for customizing and formatting. So you can choose between a line chart with markers or a column chart. Power BI allows up to five sparklines per visual and will display 52 data points per sparkling. Lastly, the maximum number of columns in a matrix will also be limited to 20 when sparklines are on. This is to maintain the, the report performance, make sure everything runs smoothly. So our data set itself, very simple from Kaggle. What we're going to look at with the matrix visual, a bit of a hierarchy with products and the associated sales, we can break this down and expand it. If you don't know what a matrix visual is, essentially it's Power BI's version of, of an Excel pivot table. That's how we can think of it. We've got the separate rows and columns and values. We've got quite a simple example today, so that's great. And we can see I've already enabled the data bars, which are okay, but you're going to see how sparklines are a much more um, usable and user-friendly option. Before we get started adding sparklines to our Power BI tables or matrices, we need to ensure that we have the latest Power BI update because this has just been released in the December update. So we can click File, go into the About menu as I've, as I've signaled here, and then we need to check that the version we're running has that December 2021 in parenthesis. Now, usually this will automatically be done in Power BI Desktop, but if you don't have it, you can simply go into the Microsoft Store or go online and get the latest version of Power BI. The last thing that we need to check is that within our options and settings and our preview features that we actually have sparklines enabled. So you can go back into file and within that menu, click options and settings and then click through again on options. And we just need to ensure that the sparklines option is checked. Now, usually if you have the latest December update, that should be checked anyway but it's worth noticing if you can't see it when you go to actually enable this feature. Okay, so now we can actually actually get going with the, the sparklines feature and it's quite simple from this point. So to add a sparkline, we just need to click on the value we want to apply it to. So in this case, sales, and you'll see it automatically summarizes it as sum. We can change this. And what I'm going to do for my X axis, I'm just gonna simply choose month, so that we've got a nice, we can see that nice trend and progression already and it automatically gets added to our table. If we want to expand things, we can, but really what I'm interested in, in this business case, is seeing the sales by the sort of product subcategory. I don't want to drill down too deep. I want to know where I need to highlight sales and improve. So, I mean, we talk about making data-driven decisions in an instant. This is a great way to look at a table and get really good insights immediately. And you can see this, this almost tooltip. It'll tell you, you know, percentage increases or variances by date range. It's great out of just off the bat. It's a very good, strong um, feature. 
So I can go into the formatting and select spark line and modify things like the line width, whether I want to see a line or a column. You don't get the option in columns to add a marker. This is just present in line. And you can see now I can add a marker for the highest value or lowest, um, you know, negative, isolated, whatever, but a good one would be the highest value. And I can modify that as well. And again, just get a bit more insight and, and make it more catching to the eye. And I still see that nice tooltip with any trends and percentage changes. It's, it's very helpful. Now you'll notice when I add that spark line in the values well, I've also got that specific item added in. So I can actually click on the sales by month spark line feature and edit it by clicking edit the spark line. And I can now choose to modify the summarization, for example. So let's say that I want to see the maximum values by, by the months and I can see the, the um, peaks and troughs there. Well, you can see that it reformats it we still get that, that nice almost tooltip showing the ranges, but now it's focused on the max values by each month and it's, it's almost telling you the variances there. So that's a really good thing you can visualize. Um, if we go back into the formatting, we could actually change this line chart to a column chart. So if I go back into spark lines within my formatting, this was previously a paint roller, it's changed slightly that icon. And you can see I can change the chart type to column. I don't get the, the marker options, but that's okay because you could argue that the column's even more catching on the eye and it's a lot more um, easy to spot those trends visually. And then we can look to drill down on certain aspects and build more visuals. As I say, great for making quick decisions. That's one of the key elements when we're developing um, business intelligence solutions. And I hope you got a, a good insight into this brand new feature. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.